happy Friday. It's not just any Friday, it's Foodie Friday. And I'm here with Yvonne. What's up, man? How are you? All right, so I'm gonna introduce him to uh, some Vietnamese uh, food. We're here at Eden Center in Falls Church, which is predominantly Vietnamese uh, area. So all the restaurants, all the stores are Vietnamese owned. Um, so check this out. Okay, and the first place we're gonna try is Hong Viet. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, so um, if you need to correct me, go ahead. But I don't care, I'm just pronouncing what, what it's spelled, Hong Viet. So the first thing I'm having Vaughn try are the um, beef wrapped in grape leaves. Uh, he hasn't had them before, but he's gonna try them now, right? So it's like, it seems to be like a lettuce wrap, and it's um, beefy, it's just beefy, it's, it's good. Not, nothing, nothing um, like, that's crazy out of it. Like it's it's it has good taste. I love that it's moist. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Is it spicy? Try it. Let's find out. I don't even know what it is, but you know that's, that's, that's like that's the good thing about it. Like you don't know what it is, but you wanna see. That gives it like a more of a little bit of spicy taste. Mm. Yeah, that's good. See, this is his first time to uh, try this type of Vietnamese food, so he decided to stay safe, right? You can't go wrong with grilled beef. Yeah. Grilled beef is good. Mm-hmm. Can't go wrong with beef. So the French actually uh, ruled Vietnam until about the mid-1950s, so there's actually a lot of French influences uh, with Vietnamese cooking. So today I ordered the Bang Khao. I don't even know if that's the right way to say it, but you know, growing up with Cambodians, we call it Bang Khao. I don't know what it is, the proper Vietnamese translation is, uh, but it's basically a crepe, right, with rice flour, and inside, can you see this? All right. I got a broken wrist, so it's gonna be hard to do this, right? So it's got a couple things from Green Spouts. Um, actually, I'm a little surprised that they have the um, chopped pork. Normally, you have like minced pork uh, with it. Lettuce. For a couple mints. But again, traditionally you'll have minced pork instead of like these strips of pork, which I haven't, I haven't seen before. Uh, so Might have ran out, I don't know. Mm. A lot more bean sprouts than normal. I don't care, I like bean sprouts. So Yvonne, you just saw what I did, right? You know you're gonna try this next, right? Yeah. Bang Yeah, there you go. Bang okay. This... Got the dumpling. It has shrimp. Do you order shrimp? Yeah, yeah. You load it. There you go, man. Try it with this one. I, I don't I don't dip my tacos, but this is like dipping a taco, you know, like a lettuce lettuce taco. It's alright. <laughs> is this pork? Mm -hmm. Shrimp and pork together? I, I don't think I've ever done before. Okay. Shrimp and pork. <laughs> but it's I'm gonna have to do it again. Like this is this is this is good. Man. I need another shrimp. Cool. Make sure the pork for me. <laughs> I'm sure there's one at least one. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's a combination I've never had. Shrimp with pork in a lettuce wrap. The crab. The crab. Uh, <laughs> like a big uh, beef sprout with a big dumpling. <laughs> they look like a big dumpling. I already made this Vietnamese crab. Put it in a, like a little lettuce wrap or what he calls a, 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 a taco, right? It's a Vietnamese taco. But I added the, the grilled lemongrass beef to it. I'm telling you, it's the bomb. So I, I added it to it, and that's, that's the best way to go. I'm not losing any weight. <laughs> I'm gonna stay in shape because round is a shape. So bubble tea is like, it's got this tapioca bubble on the bottom. So uh, Yvonne ordered the tea version, which is like tea, and I have the smoothie. Right? 
Yeah, okay. That was the last episode because last time the shit went everywhere. No, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. I got it. <laughs> Thank you. Passion fruit. Mango is my favorite fruit. Mine is peach. Is it peach? No. Vietnamese people must love bubble tea because there's like four bubble place, bubble tea places like next door to each other, one after the other. I want to try like a pastry, like a, like a cake. Hello, how are you today? I kind of wish they, they had some stuff. Like I guess the, the the owner saw us like video outside. And, as soon as we walked in, they were like super nice. This is a really nice guy, but they didn't have what we're looking for, right? Yeah. We're looking. We want some. We want some pastries. Yeah. So we're gonna go to Phu Glock, since it's a bakery, and uh, yeah, we'll try that out next. Phu <laughs> Glock. I don't know. But this is more savory than sweet. I just want to eat it, and I don't know what the green is, but I want to try it. Like green things at like three different stores, and, wow. and all three I was like, "What is that?" I still don't know what it is, but I was like, "If everyone has it, it has to be good, right?" Yeah. Like, obviously everybody sells it, so people buy it. I'm gonna see what it is. It's wrapped so in more plastic. <laughs> so I don't know if you got a hole and just. Mmm, it's like yellow. So are you eating the plastic? No, no. Okay. Like a hole, like. Something green, like it tastes like something green, but like like Bread. cabbage, <laughs> lettuce. Mm. I don't know what the white part is though. Look, for my Vietnamese friends, if you know what this is, comment in the section below. Tell us what it is. Um, I think I saw mung bean on, on a wrapper somewhere, but just like Yvonne said, like all the stores I went to had it, so it must mean something, right? Has a consistency of um, a thick jello. And then there's like this paste inside, right? You have no idea what that is. It almost tastes like beans, like red bean, right? It's not bad. I mean, it's it's not overly sweet. You know what it, you know what it tastes like? It has the consistency of a giant gummy bear. It's like a gummy not bear. Sweet, but not as sweet. Yeah, but yeah. but no sweet. Yeah, right? it's almost like a healthy version of a gummy bear. Right. But yeah, not bad. You can try it out again. Comment section below if you know what the hell we're eating, because we really don't. Each Vietnamese place is kind of different, um, but the coffee is um, is not just coffee. Well, it's regular coffee, um, but they add condensed milk to it, so that's the Cafe Sudan. So if you go to a Vietnamese place, Cafe Sudan. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name. I'm not Vietnamese, but whatever, right? Um, yeah, so they actually prepare where I like a coffee bar, so they prepare it for us. Sometimes I'll actually prepare the coffee. Uh, they'll actually brew the, ta the, the coffee at the table. Um, but they, in this case, they just serve the sauce because we're at the bar. Anyone who knows me knows I drink coffee every day. So I had to try this coffee before I leave. Oh, you I, never had any of coffee? I got the Su Nong. I never tried it before. Mm -hmm. It looks good. It smells good. Uh, yeah, I like it's, it. It smells strong, so I'm down. Cheers. Let's try it out. Oh, man. Probably like double shot. Mm. Yeah. Sunong. I'm gonna try Sunong again. But you taste Yeah, it is, it, is, it is sweet and it's strong. It's pretty strong. Wow, that's an interesting mix. He just described me. <laughs> sweet and strong. Now let's stop. <laughs> I, got the, I got the ice version. Cause it's fucking hot outside. Oh, yeah, I think that's the best way to describe it. Sweet and strong. Even the uh, the ice version. Sweet and strong. Mm. Yeah, it's good stuff. All right, guys. Well, I hope you continue to follow us. Um, be sure to subscribe. Cheers. Cheers. Let us know if you want to join on the next uh, foodie journey. Uh, write in the comments. Uh, what other places we can try. All right guys, peace out.